Welcome back. Now we're going to talk a little bit about update strategies. We talked uh, a little bit about the nature of row types in the last module. So in this module, uh, we're going to talk about how the update strategy affects uh, mappings and how we can use them in mappings. So with that, let's introduce you to the update strategy itself. The update strategy in Informatica basically allows you to control a row by row uh, con uh, setting over how you're going to treat the row when it reaches the database. Remember our last section, we showed you the diagram that said that we have a row type. And we'll demonstrate this again in the debugger. We'll bring up the debugger here in a minute. But uh, as you pass rows through your session and you look at them in the debugger, there's a, there's a setting called row type, which is an Informatica assignment. And that row type comes in from the session setting, treat rows as, and I'll show you where that is in a minute. That's pull down list. And so what happens is there's a transformation in the designer called the update strategy. Update strategy. The update strategy allows us to affect this default row type. So what we do is we set this to a setting called data driven. And this means that Informatica will assign this a data driven constant. Treat row type. The row type will be data driven as you see it coming through. And as it reaches the update strategy, you will be allowed to use the values in the row to uh, execute some form of condition or function and apply a constant to the row type so that by the time it reaches the writer thread, the writer will then look at the row type, which is set by the update strategy, and it will determine whether or not this row is an insert, this row is an update, this row is a delete. And that's determined again by the update strategy transformation. So we're, we're going to, we've got a couple others here. We're going to talk about that. So this is what it's used for. We can also reject the row. So just be aware of that. When you set it to reject though, the writer thread will write it to the session log and the bad file as a reject. So there's two IOs for every row you reject, which can and will slow down your performance. So be aware of that. Now, don't use the update strategy in real time feeds. It's not a good thing to do. Um, sorry, back up. Only use it in real-time feeds. Don't use it in batch feeds. Uh, for a batch number of rows, you want to set the treat rows as to a single constant, like insert, update, delete. You don't want to go row by row trying to determine what the row should be in a large batch load. It will negatively affect your performance. Okay. So as a last point, let's take a look at the constants. These are constants provided to you by Informatica. When you're in the update strategy, and I'll show you how to get at these, when you're in the condition under the properties, you can, based on the condition and if condition, you can set it up to be DD underscore reject. That means reject the row. Uh, DD insert, which means in, set the row type to insert. DD update, set the row type to update. And that also, again, the writer thread, when it gets there, just because you set it to DD insert, the writer thread will still change check all of the session settings to make sure you have the insert flag turned on. If you miss that part of the lesson, go back, go back and review the last section on target options. We covered that. So with that, let's switch over to the designer. I'll show you what an update strategy looks like and how to drop it in your mapping. Update strategies basically are here. They're the second transformation in the bar there. We'll turn that on. We'll click once and we'll bring in some of these fields. So I'm going to highlight those guys, drop them out from the sorter. Let's bring it on down the tracks into the update strategy. Let's expand that out. And don't forget to name your transformations appropriately. So let's open up the update strategy. We'll go straight to the properties. There's not much you can do with the fields. They're both input output and you can't turn them on and off. That's just the nature of the beast. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here you see the update strategy expression. Let's open that up. Zero is the default. That's DD insert. And you can see here what we're going to do is write an if condition. We're going to pull out a port. 
and we're going to say um, if the product category, let's say let's let's do this substring product category. First letter of the product category equals A. Then we want to use a DD insert. Else we want to say if the unit sales is greater than a thousand, then we want to issue a DD update. Otherwise, mark the entire row as a DD reject. Okay, and I think we've got a valid condition there. All right, so what this does now, this allows us to say, if the product category starts with an A, right, then insert, set the row to an insert type. If you, otherwise, all the other conditions, starts with the B, C, D, E, F, then check the next condition. The next condition says, if unit sales greater than 1,000, then update it. Otherwise, mark it for reject. You can also set it to delete. Um, and that is the equivalent of an update expression. Keep in mind that this gets executed again every single row that passes through the update strategy. Now, the other thing that it has an impact on is your bulk and normal switch in your session, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, so this is this expression. You can choose to forward rejected rows or you can make the update strategy act like a filter and drop the row from the stream. So if you forward them, they go all the way to the writer before they hit the session log. If you do not forward them, they're filtered out, um, you don't see them again, and they do not hit the session log or the bad file. So just be aware of that. Let's go take a look now. Let me hook these up uh, downstream to the target so our mapping is valid. Notice I don't have a primary key in my target. So the mapping might just be invalid here. Oh, it should have marked it invalid, but it didn't. Um, and that is because the update command won't run properly. So be aware of that. Uh, I need to mark a key there for that. But let's go into the workflow manager. Let's refresh the mapping. Now, don't forget that the two clients that I'm working with here, I just showed you, they don't talk to each other. So any major change, I drop a new transformation in my map, I delete a transformation in my map, I hook up different fields in my map, I change an expression, any change in my mapping saved to the repository. Tell the workflow manager if you have it open, like I just switched to it, I've got to go out, tell the workflow manager to pull that new metadata back into the session. They don't talk to each other, unfortunately. There's no live update. So refresh mapping allows me to pull that new metadata back in, and now I should be able to see the update strategy. And as you can actually see down here, it says it has reverted the object, and it added update transformation to my session. So if I go to mapping and I look at transformations, I should see my update trans. If you don't see the new transformation that you added in this list, you haven't refreshed your session properly, that's not a good thing. Now, don't forget here, we're going to talk about the session settings or the target settings again here for bulk and normal. Uh, remember that the update strategy affects performance in a negative way. Uh, and basically, you can't run in bulk anymore. There's two, two settings you need to be aware of. We'll switch back to the general tab, go back to the properties tab. The first one is treat rows as, and here's where it is. It's under the properties tab. We're going to treat rows as data driven to accommodate for the update strategy. We're going to switch back to the mapping tab. And now we need to change the target load type to normal. So this is the nature of the update strategy. We're going to close this off by talking about what the writer thread does and doesn't do. The writer thread takes this, uh, takes this setting and for each row it takes and it sets in the buffer update. If this row is marked as an update, update uh, with the values statement and the values are plugged in directly into the update statement. The insert, if this row is marked as an insert, the writer will write an insert. It's as if you were typing these commands on a command line in SQL Plus. So this is the nature of the update strategy. This is why it is so slow. It is not a block style. It will not do a bulk style load any further. Um, it will switch back to a normal. It will not use bind variables.